Yo, 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 what up, people? It's your boy State, and we back. Some more this Arturo Tebow. We kicking things off at the Pro Bowl screen. See, that boy Tebow went out there and missed five games, man. He's still up in there in the running for the middle, starting middle linebacker at the Pro Bowl, man. It shows you how good people is, how good Tebow is, and how how much people want to see him play. I know, I know, people are like oh, you know, hating, yeah, yeah. People be hating because he's a Tebow. Don't be jealous of that man because he's a Tebow man. You could have been a Tebow too. You could have been. You weren't, but you could have been. So don't hate on him. It's not his fault. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's up with the middle linebacker spot, but let me get that pick. But uh, I don't know what's up with the middle linebacker spot. It's really weak. Like I think uh, last year, the only two people up there was, was it Patrick Willis, who I expected to be up there, and uh, I think it was me for the entire season until I got hurt. Then it was Brady James. Like, who the hell wants to see Brady James in the Pro Bowl? Like this, I mean, John Beeson is nowhere to be found. AJ Hawk, nowhere to be found. And I don't really know of many other good middle linebackers. Like maybe Jonathan Vilma. I think David Hawthorne is actually uh, an outside linebacker now. Same with Curtis Lofton. But D'Amico Ryan's with the Eagles. He, I mean, he's not doing much either. So it's pretty much like I get like a free run to the Pro Bowl every year. In the uh, in the NFC, just because of, you know middle linebacker spots kind of weak, and because you know I ball out, I ball out, I do ball. You gotta admit that I do ball out. So, boy Tebow be on it. But uh, yeah, man, little just little preview. Like, and this is my first game against the uh, the Super Bucks. They're gonna be really good next year, I think. You know, with uh, Vincent Jackson, Carl Nix. Maybe an updated uh, Josh Freeman. They might drop him a little bit to um, kind of have the team a little balanced in the uh, in the next game. Because you know, I don't know if you've noticed that they do that. Rocket Kids by Mike Williams. I don't know if you've noticed that, but they um, when uh, when a lot of good players tend to go to a, the same team, they drop their ratings down a little bit to make them easier to play against. Like they did it to the uh, to the Jets when Cromartie went over there. Cause that's where Cromartie was like low 90s when he was with the Chargers. But once he went over to the Jets, they dropped him to like 85. And it's just you know that's just what they do. Like they did the same thing with the Eagles. You know when uh, when Babin went over there and Namdi and DRC. Like you know they they just you know they drop people to make them a less stupid team in Madden like, like, just so they're not like an invincible team which is which is good you know they you know they shouldn't really have any invincible teams any teams that are like impossible to beat and the uh, computer tries to get a little little cheese going there fumbling the ball late on purpose so it's like you know they could try to run it up for a first down knowing good and will that I, that I couldn't challenge it I'm just kidding. I would have challenged the hell out of that. And we got then we hurt Mark Blount, man. Tebow says he's tired of getting hurt. It's somebody else's turn. So he takes it out on Mark Blount. And then he's trying to take it out on Josh Freeman. It's a late hit. So whatever. Tebow takes it. He's not worried about him. As long as I mean as long as as long as he got that hit off on Josh Freeman, he don't give a damn. But I'll tell you one thing, though, we get another hit on Josh Freeman. Bam. Hit the shit out of him, man. And he's nervous, trying to get rid of that ball. Chris Gamble gets the pick, ends the game. Offense, for some reason, when they, when we give them the ball late in games, like if we have the lead, they they usually do a pretty good job of holding the lead and running out the clock. Don't know why. Um, don't know why they can't do that during the games, but you know it is what it is. And right there, you see. We tops in the NFC West, man. We were number three. Went on a nice little four-game win streak. Right back at the top. Well, three-game win streak, including Tebow. You see, right there, I man, that one game pushed me 
I don't remember if it, it pushed me right up there with Laurinaitis, man. And right off the bat, they get a uh, punt return touchdown. And then right there, you know it's just, it's an uphill battle, man. And for some reason, Alex Smith was like, yo, I done done my homework. I know all I got to do to beat them is go over the top. And that dude played like he was on a mission this game. The whole team did, really. Which they were, because, you know, if they lost this game, they'd be two games back at that playoff spot. And, it's, you know, you don't want that. You got to go out there and ball out. And then right there, we get the stop on third down. Hold them to three points, which is good. Don't want to go down 14 nothing early. But it gives the offense some time to, you know, regroup, apparently, and put some drives together, which they don't. And this was just a uh, very, very long game. And right there, I thought that throw was good, but apparently uh, dude was out of bounds before he caught it. See, like, Alex Smith was, like, making, like, great throws, great reads this game. He looked like Drew Brees out here. Which is, like, you know, see, look at that. Look at that, man. Alex Smith. I mean, the the old Alex Smith can't make that throw. But look at this, man. Vernon Davis burnt the hell out of me. And he overthrows him. That's the Alex Smith that I want. Bam! Chass over here. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a... This was a meaningful game, man, because we, 7-5, a one-game, you know, one-game lead in the division. We win this one, you know, it gives us a pretty good chance of taking this division. You know, we want to get our work done early. We don't want to wait till week 16. We want to go in here and we just want to take care of business. Because I think after this, we got a game with the Cardinals, I want to say. And if we can win both of those games, then it's pretty much we're we're in the driver's seat. But fate wouldn't have it. See Frank Gore out there running like a man possessed, and Alex Smith making throws like that. Us playing uh, pretty soft defense really didn't put up much resistance, and it was just oh, you know. I was so mad when I didn't get that pick, man. I don't, I don't know what. I, I think I pressed the button late, so my dude didn't react. But I saw that ball coming right at me, man. My dude get tired, man. I go and I sim the play. They get a touchdown. So I'm like, all right, whatever, man. We down seven points. Let me see if my office can score. They do, but then we they give a, a kick return touchdown right back, and that's pretty much the game because we can't respond. Like, you know, they, they just, they won this game more than we did. Well, they won the game more than our offense did. And it's really, really nothing we could have done. It is what it is. They got some breaks. That's all I'm going to say. They got some breaks. I mean, whatever. Who cares? Whatever. Varl Bowman, player of the game. They take this one, man. We got another meeting with them, though. But I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.